Good, welcome you guys back to my channel, Nene Blobs. So today I'm here with a March wrap up for you guys and let's just jump into it. So the first book that I read this month, actually finished this month, was a classic and that was The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. And this book I read for like three weeks before I finished it. I finally finished it and I give it four and a half out of five stars. So I really enjoyed this book. It's about an orphan girl who is sent to her uncle's house to live there and there she finds family that she didn't know she had and she meets her cousin who is sick and also she finds a secret garden. So I really enjoyed this book. The only problem was um, in the middle it did fall a bit flat for me. I felt like I just wanted something to happen and nothing was happening. Also because I watched the movie so many times I knew something had to happen but it was taking too long for me. So that just um, put me a bit off but the rest was really good and I really recommend it. And the classic for this month was My Cousin Rachel by Daphne du Maurier. Daphne du Maurier uh, wrote Rebecca which is one of my favorite books and I read another book of hers which I think is Rule Britannia and I read it, I forgot what I gave it but I feel like these two books after Rebecca are still not up there with Rebecca. This book is about Philip who is the adopted son of this estate owner and when the estate owner travels to Europe he meets their cousin Rachel and he marries her and there he becomes sick and knew his uncle was sick but he was also receiving very mysterious letters from his uncle and he was kind of mysterious towards Rachel his cousin Rachel and and after traveling to Italy and coming back his cousin Rachel comes to visit him this book kind of surrounds Rachel and how her who she really is I gave it four out of five stars I felt like the main character was a bit gullible and I kind of knew what was going to happen and some truths that he did not realize and that made me really annoyed sometimes. I still love Daphne du Maurier but I'm still looking for a book as good as Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions please comment down below so I can maybe read them. The next book I'm so excited to show you. Um, I've been really waiting for this book for like a month and at last I got it on Friday. It is Everything Everything by Nikolai Yoon. I'm so happy that I got it. I got it on Friday and um, I was still reading My Cousin Rachel but I so badly just wanted to finish that book to read this book so badly. So I finished My Cousin Rachel um, Friday at 7 o'clock and then I was still contemplating if I should start reading everything everything and then at 8.30 I began reading and I couldn't put it down. I read until 12.30 and I finished the book at 12.30 and I really, really loved this story. If you guys don't know what this book is about, it's about a girl who has a disease that makes her allergic to everything. And because of that, she is confined to a life inside her house with only knowing her nurse and her mother and doing like school on Skype. And then out of the blue, new people come into the neighborhood and um, this family has a boy called Oliver or Ollie. They start to communicate. This was just a really good contemporary romance. The ending was very unexpected and I really, really 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 love this book. This was a really fast read. As you guys heard I read it in four hours. It also has like illustrations and short chapters so I love that because I also read it after a classic which was very long so reading this really fast read made me so happy and I enjoyed it so much more. I really love the romance in the story. It like came slowly and I just fell in love with both of the characters. It was just an amazing read. Because I enjoyed it so much, I give this book four and three quarters out of five. It's like nine and a half out of 10. I really, really recommend this. And trust me, you guys have to pick this up as soon as you can. So at the beginning of this month, I picked up A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. And this is about a boy whose mother um, is fighting cancer and he also has trouble at school. And then one day a monster shows up in his backyard. So this is a really, really good book. I love the message behind it and also just seeing in this boy's perspective what he has to go through. It was, it was very interesting because I'm not used to being in a small boy's perspective and also the monster and everything happening there. I was also just like, 
what is going to happen at the end. Um, this did make my emotions tumble everywhere. Even in the middle of the book, I like wanted to cry for him and he was I felt so bad for him many times and also it was just a really really interesting read with the monster and the story behind the monster and what he came to do and show the boy I really recommend this and I give this book four and a half out of five stars then I finally picked up off the page by Jodie Picoult and Samantha Van Leer and this is the companion book to Between the Lines if you guys don't know what Between the Lines is about it's about um, this girl who falls in love with this fairy tale and then she opens the book and one day she sees the prince and the prince is alive and she starts talking to him and finds out that the prince doesn't actually want to be in the book anymore and he wants to get out of the book. This book was really really good. I loved seeing the characters again. I really enjoyed it and I loved how I, I just loved all the characters. I, I'm so happy I read it. It was also a fast read and I didn't want the story to end. I want a third book so badly. And I gave this book four and a half out of five stars. Then the last book that I have to show you that I read in the month of March is The Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. So this book I also really, 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 really loved. <laughs> this is about a queen-to-be who is at a young age sent away to be protected. And at last she's 19 and at the age of 19 she can become the queen. So guards take her and she becomes the queen of this whole village and state. And this is her story of her struggles and what she had to go through. This book is set in a dystopian world kind of where there was this whole like battle or crossing where they lost all information and education and like medication so they had to kind of start over and it's kind of in the 15th century but it's in the future so it was a really really good read and I loved the time period um, also I loved all the characters the characters were described so well and also the queen she was so good. This was also a fantasy so there was a bit of magic and it's really interesting to see what the mag how the magic plays in this book because it's so subtle but it's there and it's so interesting and also I love the main character. She was the best to me. She had to endure so much and it's just a really really good read. I'm so excited to read the second book which is The Invasion of the Tearling. Um, I'm so just wanting to read it now. I give this book four and a half out of five stars just because they swore a lot and there were just some parts that I disagreed with but except for that I really really loved this read. It was very intimidating because it was super thick but I read it really fast and I couldn't put it down. So those were the books that I read in the month of March. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and subscribe if you're new. I try making videos every week. Also, please comment down below the books that you read this month. I would really like to know. And also tell me what you guys want to read this April. Okay, see you guys next time. Blob!